Hey, thanks for dropping in. I've got a fantastic recipe for you guys this week. Uh, if you like savory Asian style fish, you're going to love it. Give me a sec to get everything together and I'll tell you what it is. All right, so as you can see, there's not a whole lot that goes into this dish. Uh, we're going to get a lot of bang with only a handful of ingredients, starting with some nice fresh ginger, the freshest we can find. I'm going to slice it as thin as I can, then keep going until I get these delicate little matchsticks. Like this. We want them as fine as possible. Aside from being simple, this dish also cooks really fast, so we don't want any big chunks that'll need a lot of cooking. We're going to give the same treatment to a couple of cloves of garlic and a shallot. Get them as thin as our knife and our chopping skills will let us. Like so. That's pretty much perfect. Now we move on to the sauce, and it really can't be easier to make. All it is is light soy sauce, mirin or sweet Japanese rice wine, and toasted sesame oil. We'll mix it together a little bit. Then throw in our aromatics. And that's it. Couldn't be simpler. The last bit of prep is the fish. These are trout fillets that I bought at the supermarket. They came already deboned, but I went through it again just to make sure. They still have their skin on, which I'm going to leave because that helps protect the fish from overcooking. We're going to hit that skin side with basic seasoning, just salt and pepper, then leave it for a few minutes to allow for the seasoning to permeate the meat. While we wait, I'll heat up the pan. Medium heat should do it. Once it's nice and hot, I'll add some veg oil. Then in goes the fish, skin side down. Now we can sprinkle the flesh side with salt and pepper. These fillets aren't overly thick, so they'll only take a few minutes. Our fish is ready to flip. We'll give it another couple of minutes on this side. Our aim is to undercook the fish just a little bit. You'll see why in a minute. The fish is back on its skin side, and I also drained most of the oil from the pan. At this point, we can pour in our sauce. We'll aim to get it in the pan, rather than on the fillets, so that the alliums can cook a little bit. We'll also turn the heat way down, because this final part should be nice and gentle. Now let's spoon some of that rich, salty, savory sauce over the fillets. We'll add water, just a splash, then cover with a lid and kill the heat. The fish can finish cooking while we get ready to present. And here we are. Let's call this ginger soy fish, which I realize it's a bit of a broad name that doesn't really do the dish justice, but it's the best I can come up with right now. I held a little sauce in reserve, which we can pour right over. Get every little bit. That's good stuff. I also found a couple of chives, which we can put right on top for some color. Hmm, I'm not loving that. Let's move them over. Maybe another pair on this side. And let's center these ones. There, that's looking pretty good. Let's give the plate a spin so we can see it better. And we're done. Let's do the flyby. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you try this dish because it's so easy to make yet it's so good. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you next time.